YouTubes, welcome back to my channel. If you're here, welcome to my channel. This is Best Friend Angel. Best Friend. And today we just have a little something different to do. We jumped on the Fat Fit Fun train. I'm excited. Really just to see what it is and if it's worth it. Worth all the hype. Is it, does the cost outweigh what we actually get too? Yeah, that's what I want to yeah. know. Yeah, is it like costly? Is it good for the budget? So we're going to try it out, and uh, we have the Winter 2020 box here. We have not seen what's inside the boxes. We have not seen what's inside the boxes, and we also got a free mini box that we're going to open. What do you want to open first? Ooh. Let's do the big box first. Okay. So the big box, I know what we picked out. Um, we did it. How, how long did it take to come from the time? It, it took a while. I think yeah. it took almost a month, I feel like. Yeah, it took a while. But to be fair... USPS has kind of been dragging this train. Is that the way that they shipped it though? This is the way that they shipped it. it, it when I got it, it was open. Yeah. So hopefully it's not the same. Hopefully. And uh, the inside. Yep. Just generic packaging. Nothing fabulous yet. All right. So we've got a little magazine. Ooh. Let's see. Fab Fit Fun Calming Yoga Move. Get your zen on. It's cute. Little, um, looks like it's teaching you how to like put on your mascara or your eyeshadow. That's fun. It has a lot to do with like makeup, I feel like. And um, yoga. I think that this will come in handy um, for this year. You know, this is the 2020 yes. winter box. Going into 2021, our, our gift exchange uh, theme was self-care. And one of the things that I want to focus on in 2021 is self-care. Um, and consistency, I think, is going to be our word for this year, too. Yeah. Being consistent in the things that we say that we're going to do. Because we'll have these great ideas, and then it doesn't happen. Yeah. But this is a cute little magazine. Um, they have a self-care checklist. Make a bubble bath, diffuse oils, give yourself a face massage, bake a new recipe, read one chapter of a book, call a friend, take a walk outside and meditate for five minutes. I think this is a super cute little um, glimpse into different things that you can do and different things that you can do for self-care. And then we've got some cards in here, it looks like. This is a postcard that says, Dear Self, Today You Will Shine. And there's actually a $15 off your first Fat Fit Fun Box um, with a code that you can send to somebody. That's cute. There's a little Fat Fit Fun sticker. This is, uh, I like stickers. Me too. Okay, we've got Hello Fresh, nine free meals, including free shipping. So there's a little... I'm not sure how I feel about this. I've, I've heard a lot of good things. I've actually used them before. Um, there was a time where my husband and I decided to try them. and You know, we like them, but I don't think that it's sustainable. I think that we could still buy things at the grocery store a whole lot cheaper. And yeah. I think that I just don't think that buying Hello... Because, I mean, you still have to go to the grocery store for breakfast and lunch. These are only dinners. Unless you're uber busy and you literally have no time. Now this says nine free meals across five boxes, so I wonder if what that means is you can't use them all at one time. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll look at it, see if there's something that we could do. And then we've got an HBO Max code to redeem your 14-day free trial on HBO Max, which it's kind of nice that you get a 14-day free trial, but I don't want to your HBO Max. And I get it for free through AT&T. And, and a Bright Sellers $45 credit on your first box of personalized wine matches. Um, I'm not personally a wine drinker, but I know somebody who is. $45 off of a box. That, that kind of makes me wonder how much the box is, but I don't mind. Good wine can be expensive. So here we've got our box. We're ready to get into it. I Does the magazine have, like, what's in the box and, like, what the value is? Let's see. Sometimes. What's in the box? It okay. does. So keep that open. All right. And we've got here the first thing, and we can take turns pulling stuff out. The first thing we have here is a Kind of Thins Dark Chocolate Nuts and Sea Salt 90 Calorie Bar. It's your, your standard 
I'm going to say standard. It's your standard healthy eating bar. Yep. But what I like about the Kind Bars is that they are all natural ingredients. Um, I personally don't find them very like long-term fulfilling, but like a good snack, something to keep yep. your, your desk at the office. Um, it has, um, I think it's high in protein as well. So it may not keep you full for long, but if you have an hour till lunch, yep. it is definitely a good snack for that. Oh, the first ingredient is almonds. And I really like that it's very straightforward. And if you count calories, it's only 90 calories. All right, so this is Daily Concepts Daily Facial Dry Brush for Radiant Looking Skin. So I'm gonna open it. Now, I don't know much about dry brushing. I always hear people talking about- I've never heard of it. The good benefits. Oh, hold on your phone. Let's see what dry brushing is. It's oh, so soft. Let's see, what is dry brushing? For those, there are a variety of health claims about dry brushing. Um, it involves daily body massage with a dry, stiff, bristled brush. It's been said to help flaky winter skin, increase circulation, detoxify, help digestion, and even improve the appearance of cellulite. Okay. So this is the Daily Concepts Daily oh, Facial. Yeah, daily, daily Facial, facial dry, dry Brushing. And it says here that it says to use the dry brush on your forehead, nose, chin, cheeks, and neck. To stimulate lymphatic pathways and reduce puffiness, value of twenty dollars. Now this is really soft. It is. Um, but I do notice that there are some flaws in it. Maybe it's just gotta work some kinks out. But there are some bristles that have kind of fallen off. But it doesn't seem to be like a. And to me, like this is something that I feel like you can get at Target for, you know, ten. I don't. I don't feel like it's twenty dollars worth of brush. No. It's really small. You really can't. Um, you're probably, like, you're probably paying for the name more than anything. Daily concept. I personally, no, okay, so it says polish your skin, facial workout, for radiant looking skin. And it is also $20 on their website as well. I don't I don't know that I would pay $20 for it. I wouldn't pay $20. I mean, I would probably pay $10 for it, but it kind of. You'd have to use it every day or every couple days. For your yeah, but I mean, it's not very well made, and it kind of reminds me of something that you might find at Five Below or something. Yeah, it's true. Kind of, it just, it's just not, I don't find it very, I mean, we're losing, yeah, we're losing stuff here. You can try it. But it's, I mean, it's soft. This is Beautonique Beauty Guardian Angel Revitalizing Eye Gels. What I do, I brighten, hydrate, and puff, has cucumber rose extract green tea. So these are good for jet lag, tired eyes, pre-party prep. They're four individually wrapped masks. Okay, they look like little angel hands according to this picture here. Oh. And these are apparently a twenty-five dollar value. Place these hyaluronic acid infused eye gels on the under eye area to reduce any puffiness. Twenty-five dollars. Maybe we're just cheap. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I'm cheaper than you are. Yeah. No. You tend I, to be pretty bougie. And I do. You're saying that I do tend to be pretty bougie, but but see, like maybe when it comes to like facial stuff and makeup and things like that, like. I don't really do a whole lot of that stuff, so maybe that's why I feel like it's too expensive. Maybe. So they come individually packed. That's nice. Yeah, and I don't want to open one up. I think we're going to have to do a follow-up video on like what came in the box and what did we use to do our work. Yeah. Because, I mean, they come individually packaged. They feel very... They're very cold. Yeah. Like naturally you, you cold. You can feel them. Pointy side up, and it looks like they go like under the eye. Right under the eye. It says it brightens and it hydrates and it depuffs. Follow up video to come about us trying out the stuff these, that's in the box. The stuff that's in the box. Yeah, because I'm, I'm kind of intrigued to see it. Yes. I, I would hate to spend money on something and then just not use it. Oh, so yeah. We're going we're gonna to use it. We're going to figure it out. Me turn. All right. What do we got? Kate, Kate Spade, New York. Socks. Socks. How much are these? Set up two pairs. These are workout socks. They have grips on the bottom for traction and open design for comfort and breathability. $24. $24. They're supposed to be workout socks. So, like, look at them though. So, like, we're just going to pretend that this is my foot. I don't know. I would wear these. 
they have like a hole in the top part. So you put your foot here and then they've got a hole to breathe here for breathing. And then, so it's like for working out barefoot. Maybe like yoga on a yoga mat. Yeah. They're really thick. They are really thick and I do have wide feet so I don't know if I'd be able to use them. I'm definitely going to try them though. Even just maybe around the house and you don't want, you don't want something covering your feet, but because this is open right here. It so is. Maybe for when you don't want something covering your foot completely, but you need something on the bottom. So like if I put my hand through here, hello. So I, like this is the foot. I like the little the little stain for yeah. the cheap speed. I like that. That's cute. This is liquid eyeliner, black liquid eyeliner from Aesthetica. Now, okay. This, this is a $21 value. It's a high impact liquid eyeliner. I think that this is a full size. It's so small. Now, comparing to like the size of my hand. Okay, and then this is just a, the actual eyeliner part. I don't use liquid eyeliner. See, when I did use eyeliner, I did use liquid eyeliner. I, I, I prefer liquid eyeliner. Because I like to put eyeliner on my waterline, and I know that liquid eyeliner on the waterline is like way zero. And I don't like putting eyeliner on the top eyelid because I'm I'm dumb. Like, yeah, see, I'm the opposite. That. I prefer it on my top. And basically, when I use liquid eyeliner, like I would put it on, and then like I blend it with like a I would blend it with. Very nice. Oh, I, very like, I like the brush. The brush is really smooth. You can get a really soft line or thick line. And it's it's shiny and it's, and it's black. It is black. It's definitely black. Like, like you really can't see that much because it's but it's smeary though. You have to definitely wait for it to dry. Otherwise, it'll smear. Huh. Pore Purifying Cleanser by Dr. Brandt. Brandt. Pores no more. So this one is, and I'm kind of excited about this one. This is a, well, okay. Remove makeup residue and dead skin while banishing sebum and decongesting pores. $36. I like a good facial cleanser. Yeah. Not necessarily for removing makeup, but I tend to get oily. Yeah. And I was really excited about trying this. Yep. So the instructions say apply on damp skin to form a rich lather, rinse well with warm water, avoid eyes, use AM and PM. Now, something like this, like a facial cleanser, is something that I will spend the extra money on. I won't buy the cheap stuff that um, I think that for, for this type of thing, um, it's good to a little bougie. I tend to, I have a facial cleaner in my shower and what I actually, I tend to do the big no-no and that's, I use my regular body soap, mm. which is just like antibacterial hand soap yeah. for my face. Bad, bad. Bad, bad. And it's sealed so I don't want to open it, but I'm excited to try this stuff. All right, so now we've got Below the Belt. Made in China. So this looks like, okay, it looks like a little, like money bag? Yeah, like a little card holder slash coin purse. A faux crop case features convenient slots for your ID card and credit card. All right, we're gonna play this game. Oh no, how much does it cost? I can see this being really handy if you're traveling um, and need you don't want to carry maybe maybe you don't want to carry your large wallet. True. You can't fit any cash in there. It looks like it must really. maybe have just like a bill or two. And there's really no like there's a little tiny like pocket back here, but you couldn't like put a whole bunch of change. No, maybe in a couple quarters. That's it. So or you're really only looking like two coffee, two cards, and maybe you know if you've got like like a twenty or something, you can't put a lot of cash in there. No, I like the color. Color's nice. Red. Um, I like the material, the faux crop. Yeah. How much do you think this costs? Probably 20 bucks. It has a value of $35. There's no way. I would not pay $35 no. for this personally. I might pick something like this up from, and I know what people are going to say. Well, you, you pay for the longevity of it. You pay, the more you pay for it, the longer it's going to last. But 
realistically, how often would you use this? Now, if you go on trips, you travel a lot, you stay in a lot of hotels, maybe. Maybe, but there's like so many other better things that I can think of to use for a trip. I feel like I would lose this. All right. Summer and Rose, and I'm probably going to have to stand up for this one because it's a little big. Now, this is one of the items that we got to pick out. Yes. And I think you specifically picked this yeah. one out. This is the Summer and Rose Cozy Robe. Cuddle up in this fuzzy robe, which features pockets. Yep. It is a robe. And it has a pocket. Oh, here. Yeah. And they did offer, I like this one, I think is a, what is this one? An extra large? Yeah, I think they got the bigger one. It might be an uh, extra, yeah, maybe an extra large. But they did offer plus sizes. It went up to 2X. Yep. It has a belt. It has so, a hood. It like feels like a fleece blanket is what it feels like. And it's like that all the way around. So it's definitely like you're wearing a more, fleece. Yeah, more like a fleece blanket than a bathrobe. Yep, definitely. Like, it's like a one of those huggies. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a fleece blanket, not robe material at all whatsoever. It's cute. Yeah, super cute. I like the color. Yep, even that comes with this little string. I like the pockets. I like that it's not like down to your feet. Nope, it goes about, I think it's to my knees. Yeah, to your knees. Yeah. <laughs> Goes to my knees, so it's like a long coat. It's cute. It is cute. And honestly, like if it didn't have, if it didn't have these loops here, it could probably pass as like a winter coat. All right. So this has a value of seventy dollars. I think when it when it comes to robes and stuff like that, I can see paying a little bit more, especially if it's good material and if it's comfortable. Yeah, I agree with that. I would not personally pay seventy dollars for it, but it might last a little bit longer than something that I would pay for. It does feel like that blanket that I gave you for Christmas. It does. It, I mean, it literally feels like a blanket. I, it has zero robe material or moisture, moisture wicking material. It's not something that you can put on right as soon as you get out of the shower. Mm -hmm. Like you would have to dry off and put clothes on first. Right. It's not. But it doesn't for, say that it's a bathroom. It just says that it's a cozy robe. Yeah. So. No, it's cute though. It I is like cute. It. I like it. This is the impressions vanity. Touch highlight LED makeup mirror. High definition distortion free. And it's in white. This says that it is the mirror features a bright white LED light strip at the touch, a sensor button to help you perfect your makeup. Okay. Well, batteries. Batteries are included. That's a good size. Of course, the instructions. Package okay. Double wrap. I mean, like it's got um has a USB with the USB batteries. Maybe if you don't have batteries. Like a mini USB. Okay. Easy to put together. Yeah. Batteries are in. It's a good size. Yeah. I like that it, it swivels up and down. Whoa. And it's got a little touch. Oh. Whoa, check that out. That's bright. That is very bright. Um it only has one setting, it looks like, but I mean, you can definitely see yourself. You can definitely see yourself. I, I like this. I like um, this too. This is nice. It is a $45 value. I could see it being $45. Oh, shit, I messed up. I've definitely seen cheaper options, but I can, I $45 for this. Yep. And it comes with a cable in case you want to, you know, in case you need to plug it, it in. in. Um, it's something that you could use even if the batteries aren't working. Still use it. I could definitely see $45 for this. Me too. So let's do some math. It says that it's supposed to be a total value of above $200. So without the Klein bar, we're at $276. $276 for $50. Okay. I would, I'm okay with the fact that I paid $50 for this. Me too. Yep. If I were buying this all individually, I would not spend $276. No way. I think the facial cleanser, I mean, it's a good quality mask or eyeliner. So, like, the eyeliner is definitely worth it. Um, the mirror. The mirror, I think, is worth it. And workout socks are expensive. Even though you're paying for the Kate Spade name, I do think that it is still worth the $24 or whatever. So, that's what I... What are your yes. thoughts? Yeah. I think that these are the... Yeah. So now here's the question. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna also open up the 
mini box here in just a minute, but here's the question. Do you want to in this frame? That's a good question. I think that I would like to do it again in this frame. Okay. What about you? Yeah, I think part of me wants to like see what we do for a whole year. Yeah. And I know that if you sign up annually, yes, it costs a little bit more, but you get more options. Yes. So I think that I think we might try this for the year yeah. 2021. And I think that'll be a lot of fun to do and we can collect everything that we get and at the end of the year we can go back through and see what we used and what we didn't and I think that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think so. Alright, well, that's there that part of it. Um, so let's open up the mini box. So as a promotion for ordering the winter box, we also got a free mini box. I have no idea what's in this. I don't know if it's part of this. So let's find out. Okay, it looks like it has its own, its own packing information. This was free. Um, so it looks like this is the starter box. So this is like, instead of being the magazine, this is like a little How Fat Fit Plum Bikini. Right. And, um, how to continue with your membership. Yes. They do a good job with these magazines, I feel like. Here's some booster workouts. Some words of wisdom. I feel like if anybody's into like physical vision boards, these would be really cute for vision boards. Yeah, they would. Um, that like words of wisdom page is yeah. really cool. Yep. Yeah, it's a little it's super cute. A little off topic, but if you're into vision boards, these yeah. magazines would be good for that. So here is what is in the box. This is apparently a total retail value of $128.95. A note from us at Fat Fit Fun, we're all about bringing you the best of the best. That's why we're super excited for you to experience the starter box. It's just a small taste of what you can look forward to as a Fat Fit Fun member. Enjoy some of our top rated products and don't forget that your next box will be even bigger. Happy unboxing. All right. So here we've got, okay. Jonathan, I feel like I'm going to be a little critical of this. One. You're going to be very critical. Of Jonathan this one. Adler, Fleur de Sel scented candle. This is an 11 ounce candle. I can smell it. But it smells kind of lavender y. Whoa, I can smell it too. It's very strong. Like I have very, very strong. It's very strong. Um, it's a little sweaty. It smells flowery. It smells like the potpourri you would put on the back of your yeah. toilet. Yeah. Not necessarily that that's a bad thing. The reason why I'm kind of critical about this is because I'm dabbling in my own candle business and wax melt business. The jar, the vessel, is very nice. It's sweating on top, which means that it could mean one of two things. It could mean that there's either too much fragrance oil in it. Yeah, it also looks like it kind of melts of or something in it because it's yeah coming up on the side. Which I mean, we're in Florida, so that's kind of expected in delivery. Yeah. Um, but the condensation, it could be condensation, or it could be that there's too much fragrance oil and the fragrance oil is seeping up. You don't really know. It's I don't know what the smell is. I wish that it would say. It says, let the notes of an aquatic breeze, marine salt, orange blossom, mimosa, and driftwood take you on an instant sensory getaway. So I guess it's supposed to be kind of a beachy smell. I don't smell beachy. I don't smell beachy. Um, it's also $48. I'm going to burn it to see. Wonder Beauty, a baggage claim gold eye masks. All right. And they are individually wrapped. There's five. There's five of them. Let's see. So... It actually looks like the little petal thingies that we got in a previous box. Individually packaged gold foil eye masks to brighten, hydrate, and reduce the appearance of dark circles. Experience three innovative layers of luxury. The gold foil helps retain heat and prevents evaporation, allowing the maximum amount of serum to penetrate the skin. The middle layer is elastic, so the mask will never slip. And the third is a cellulose fiber that condenses and delivers key ingredients. Efficiently giving you all the skin loving benefits, hyaluronic acid delivers intense hydration to diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Aloe leaf extract 
and lavender oil offer cooling effect while soothing and calming the under eye area. It actually feels like it's higher end, mm -hmm. more so than the other package does. Um, and it looks like these are $25. So this so, is the same price, but for this one, you actually get one more. And they do feel more they higher They do end. definitely feel more higher end. Well, maybe, at least the packaging makes them feel higher end. And then maybe because they use the word gold in it too. Ahava Dead Sea Salt, Natural Dead Sea Salt Baths. This. Ahava says, bring the Dead Sea Salt, the Dead Sea's healing waters into your own bath. The minerals help ease muscle tension and leave you with soft skin. But I don't know if you've ever seen the Dead Sea, but like it's so, there's so much salt in it. The moment that you get in it, you float right away. Yes. I will say that the ingredients literally list. Marist salt, dead sea salt. So it says that it's a $16 value. I can see that being a $16 value. The packaging looks very luxury. Yep, it does. I'm interested to try this because I like taking baths with Epsom salt. So I'm actually interested to try this. All right, I'm excited about that. And there's one more thing. One more. Calming clean Epsom, Epsom salt pan and body wash. Daily cleansing with lavender oil. A yoga. It's called Fusio Somatology. Mm -hmm. And it says, calm your senses as you cleanse with a relaxing blend of lavender oil, pro vitamin B5, and shea butter. Now, I know that lavender is really calming for your skin, but not everybody likes the smell of lavender. Yeah. Let's smell it. I have very sensitive skin. There was a time where I went through like two years of very chronic hives and we never figured out what caused it. So because of that, like I'm very careful with what I put as far as body wash and stuff. And I actually use like it's very no scent body wash, like it's very thick. Avino. Like, it doesn't smell. It doesn't smell very strong. So how much do you think this costs? Like it, it's cute. The bottle, the cute. bottle's really cute. So how much do you think it costs? It probably costs like twenty five. It's supposed to have a value of thirty nine ninety five. I don't understand how. And there's only it's only eight ounces. That's it. Just eight fluid ounces is all that's in here. Maybe a little bit goes a long way. I don't know. I don't know that I would pay forty dollars for hand soap. Like this has to be no. some really good hand soap. And the kids would not be like, nobody's allowed to use it but me. Right. It's like, this yeah. looks like something that you'd find in the bathroom. It would be. It would be. <laughs> so we've got, what was it? The other one was $269 plus $128. The other one, so I left it over. $276. $276 plus $128.95. And I think I paid with shipping, I think it was like, I think I paid $60 total. So we're at $404.95. And if we round it up what we paid for it, like 60 bucks minus that. So if we take the $60 minus the total amount of everything in the box, we wrap, come out at $324.95. Which for everything that we got, I think is great. I just don't think that some of these things are worth what they say that they cost. But I definitely want to do this again. I do. So I think we're gonna we're gonna um, do the full year. Do the full year, and that will give us some things to come back. We're gonna put together some videos of a video of, of trying different things, mm -hmm. um, and put that together so that we can see. You know, I, I just I see so many videos of people like, oh, I've been wanting one of these. Oh, I've been looking for something like this. Oh, I can't wait to try this. But then that's it. That's all you see. So we want to put it to the test. Yeah, we wanted it to be more real and be like, well, I'm never going to use this and type of a thing and not be all, oh, this is so fantastic when some things are, like that light, that's pretty fantastic. But not everything that we got was like super fantastic. I really like that light. I might have to share this. All right, well, that was our Fab Fit Fun Winter Box 2020 and Starter Box. Uh, thanks for joining us, and until next time, bye YouTube. See ya.